My name is Magda Castaneda, certified nephrology nurse, and I'm also the owner and instructor of our hemodialysis program here at Utopia Health Career Center, the best hemodialysis program of Central Florida. This is a Bonnet approved hemodialysis program. So now this is part two of the machine setting. In the first part, I showed you how to place your lines and prime them and connect them together. Now, on this part, I'm gonna show you how to start doing your alarms test. So let's start with that. So here we are in the fourth screen, and this is alarm testing. So all you needed to do, the machine started to do alarm testing already, but all you needed to do is go here to this, um, to that screen, to the test and option screen, and you could have clicked both test and confirm and the machine will start doing the test. Okay, so during this test, all it's doing is going over pressures and different areas that we use to monitor our patient. If any of these tests don't pass, we cannot use this machine. So what we would do is that we would retry the test. Of course, we'll first see if there's something that we can fix. Then we will retry the test. And if the machine is not passing tests again, then we will have to pull out this machine from the dialysis uh, unit and then bring a new machine. And remember, if uh, you are going to place this, this machine in the back, you want to place a label that says do not use, out of order, or something like that. Okay? So let's go ahead and wait until our alarm test is done. In the meantime, I can go ahead and start preparing other things or cleaning, like cleaning my draining bucket.
So there you go. Our recirculation is done. So there you have it. Our machine is now ready for our patient. I hope this was really, really helpful and see you soon. If you have any questions, please send them to info at utopiahcc.com. Bye.